All right, now let's look at this question. Option A, if you look, sees lowering of model temperature settings to encourage consistent and predictable responses. Predictability improves consistency but doesn't enhance understanding of prompts. Hence, incorrect. Please check out my other courses on Udemy by searching Cloud Guru Amit, where I have tons of courses related to cloud computing that is, Azure, Google Cloud, AWS, cybersecurity, management courses, and many more. And also, please consider connecting with me on LinkedIn at the rate of Cloud Guru Amit or Instagram at the rate of Amit Physique where uh, if you need any kind of personal assistance i'll be glad to help you out let's move to option b b says application of script strict keyword matching to restrict chatbot replies to predefined commands restriction to keywords limits flexibility and natural conversation flow we'll delete this we'll move to c c says limitation of training data scope to reduce exposure to irrelevant information reduced data scope weakens contextual learning and adaptability the wrong answer we'll move to now option d d says uses usage of prompt engineering techniques such as few short prompting to guide chatbot behavior with examples of successful interactions example driven prompting improves comprehension and response quality that being said option d is the right answer we'll lock it all righty now let's look at this question we'll look at option a first this is grounding with google search grounding with google search is a feature to reduce ai hallucination by consulting search results not summarization engine wrong answer we'll move to b b says vertex ai natural language api the Vertex AI Natural Language API includes specialized models for text summarization, which is the core technical requirement. Let's keep it. We'll move to C. C says BigQuery. BigQuery is a large scale data warehouse for analytical SQL queries, not for generative NLP tasks like summarization. Wrong answer. Let's move to option D now. D says document AI. Document AI is optimized for parsing and extracting data from structured documents, not for summar uh, not for summarizing unstructured unstructured editorial content. Wrong choice. We'll lock option B. Vertex AI Natural Language API as the right answer. All right, now let's look at this question. This is all about retrieval augmented generation that is REG. Option E says enhancement of LLM creative writing capabilities to produce more engaging and informative responses. Creative enhancement doesn't resolve factual gaps caused by outdated knowledge. Incorrect. We'll move to now option B. B says use of human oversight mechanisms to validate accuracy before delivering information to customers. Human validation adds oversight but doesn't extend the model's knowledge base. We'll eliminate it. We'll move to now option C. C says enablement of the LM to retrieve relevant and up-to-date information from external knowledge resources. Retrieval from external knowledge sources supplements the LLM with current and relevant data. Let's keep it. We'll move to D. D says fine-tuning of the LLM using specific customer query patterns to improve response speed and efficiency. Pattern-based fine-tuning improves efficiency but doesn't address hallucination. Well rejected. Well, lock option C as the right answer. Okay, now let's look at this question. We'll first look at option A. A says the ability of a pre-built user interface for chatbot deployment reducing front-end deployment effort. UI ability supports deployment but doesn't enhance document retrieval. Wrong answer. We'll move to B. B says automatic generation of policy summaries that can be delivered to employees as concise answers. Summary generation simplifies output but lacks real-time document access. We'll delete this. Let's move to option C. C says capability for the generative AI model to retrieve 
relevant and current information from policy documents in real time. Real time retrieval ensures the chatbot accesses the latest and most relevant data. Let's keep it. We'll move to D. This is provision for training a single foundation model using all company documents as input. Model training improves generalization but doesn't guarantee up to date responses. We'll delete this. We'll lock option C as the right answer. All right, now let's look at this question. This is all about integrating generative AI into workflow. Option A says refactoring and optimization of existing code using Gen AI to improve structure and performance. Optimization improves quality but doesn't contribute to initial code generation. Incorrect. We'll move to an option B. B says automatic generation of comprehensive documentation for code bases through generative AI assistance. Documentation enhances clarity but doesn't reduce coding time. Let's delete this. We'll move to C. C says identification of bugs and security vulnerabilities in code using generative AI analysis. Detection of issues improves reliability but doesn't speed up code writing. We'll delete this. We'll move to option D. D says suggestion of code snippets and completion of functions using Gen AI to accelerate deployment uh, development. Code suggestions and completions accelerate development and support faster launch looks good because that's what is requirement right best supports the goal of faster code creation we'll lock option d as the right answer all right now this looks interesting we'll first look at option a this is use role prompting using a role prompting defines the assistant's behavior by assigning its uh, it is a specific functional identity so this is wrong we'll move to b b says use prompt chaining using prompt chaining sequence for multiple prompts to guide the assistants through a structured response flow so this is again out option c says use grounding using grounding anchors for the assistant's output to a trusted source of information that's not uh, that, that is what we are uh, looking right we'll keep it we'll move to now option D D says adjust temperature parameter using adjusting uh, adjust temperature parameter to modify the randomness level in the assistance uh, response uh, is used in the response generation instead right so D is wrong we'll lock option C as the right answer all right now we'll look at option A A C is use few short prompting Using few short prompting for example based guidance helps the model align tone and style with audience needs. Let's keep this. We'll move to B. B says use role prompting. Using role prompting limits persona shaping influences delivery but lacks audience specific calibration. So option B is out. We'll move to now option C. C says adjust the temperature parameter. Using the adjusting the temperature parameter for output variability affects style but doesn't ensure audience relevance. We'll eliminate it. We'll move to option D. D says use prompt chaining. Using prompt chaining supports flow but doesn't target content generation. We'll reject it. We'll lock option A. Use few short prompting as the right answer. All right, all right. Now let's look at this question. This is all about coordinated AI functions. We'll look at first option E. E says management of complex task requiring coordination among distinct AI functions. Coordination among specialized agents enables scalable handling of complex tasks. Let's keep it. We'll move to B. B says platform capability for hosting conventional applications that do not involve AI. Hosting non AI application doesn't leverage agent collaboration or specialization wrong answer let's move to option C now C says simplification of basic repetitive or operations governed by rule based logic rule based simplification lacks the dynamic interaction required for complex task this is out We'll move to now option D. This is consolidation of diverse AI functionalities 
into a unified non-specialized model. Merging all functions removes modularity and limits task specific optimization will reject it. The lock option E is the right answer. All right, now let's look at this question. This is all about evaluating pre-built REG with Vertex CI search. Option E says Vertex CI conversation. Using Vertex CI conversations interface improves interaction but lacks retrieval precision incorrect we'll move to b b says vertex ai natural language api using using vertex ai natural language api in text analysis supports understanding but doesn't enable real-time document search will eliminate it we'll move to option c c says pre-built reg with vertex ai search using Pre-built REG with Vertex CI search for retrieval augmented generation enables accurate and timely access to catalog data. Let's keep it. We'll move to D. D says Vertex AI model garden. Using Vertex AI model repository supports experimentation but doesn't target search functionality. We'll delete this. We'll lock option C as the right answer. All right, now let's look at this question. This is all about evaluating Google Foundation models with large context window. Option E says Gemini. Gemini as a foundation model is designed to process multi-model inputs with extended token capacity. Let's keep it. We'll move to option B. B says Code Gemma. Code Gemma as a model optimized for code generation and developer assistance task. So this is incorrect. We'll move to option C. C says imagine. Imagine as a model fo is focused on generating high quality images. Just the um, word if you look image right here images here in the imagine. So that is that's what it relates to image. It's easy to remember. So uh, basically it, it is focused on generating high quality images from text description. So this is out. We'll move to option D. D says chirp. Chirp as a mod uh, is a model built for speech recognition. Chirp, uh, I think uh, sparrows uh, speak in the language of chirping or something. Uh, so that that is uh, where I believe it. Uh, the name comes from. Uh, so uh, as mentioned, so uh, chirp is a model built for speech recognition and audio transcription task. So this is wrong. The lock option is Gemini as a right answer. So please, please, please don't go away. Let's meet the next part of the series. Please check out my other courses on Udemy by searching Cloud Guru Amit, where I have tons of courses related to cloud computing. That is Azure, Google Cloud, AWS, cybersecurity, management courses, and many more. And also please consider connecting with me on LinkedIn at the rate of Cloud Guru Amit or Instagram at the rate of Amit Physique where uh, if you need any kind of personal assistance, I'll be glad to help you out.